One name sticks out in the glitzy world of gold mining where fortunes are extracted from the dirt, Rick NES. Renowned for his extraordinary knack for finding gold, though Rick has left his mark on the history of the Con D Company. Ham on this, once Rick's adventure takes an unexpected turn at a crucial juncture that could change the trajectory of his mining career, what life-changing choice has Rick taken and how will it affect the plot of his gold hunting saga? There's more get ready for the coming of a person who inspires you and is willing to support Rick during his most trying moment who is this unknown person and how will they affect Rick's quest for gold invites you to embark on an unparalleled mining adventure that will lead to Rick's biggest gold hold ever success hard effort and perseverance are more important than chance this is something that the unwavering Rick Ness feels that he is is currently up against a formidable obstacle, a gold output. Target that in spite of the substantial expenditures in top-notch machinery, seem to be escaping his grasp. Rick is addressing concerns with machinery. Different hurdles are emerging putting a wrench in the gears of progress, but the twists and turns in this mining saga don't end there on top of all that Rick is at a crossroads facing a crucial decision about the ownership of the land, but the heart of the challenge lies in the earth itself, the act of digging and extracting precious gold from the depths becomes a battle against time and nature. It's a struggle that Rick faces head-in, with determination etched on his face in the vast expanse of the mining frontier. Rick Enns is facing a pivotal moment in his gold hunting journey, having staked his entire season on a daring move of deep cut that promised a potential $5 million in gold. The reality is not living up to the glittering dream, the 190 deep cut, the bold gamble that could lead to a substantial payday is yet to yield the expected results. The goal is 2,000 O of gold, but this weight of the gold hounds heavy on Nesset's shoulders not just for the sake of his crew, but for for his own survival in the unforgiving world of gold mining a world, into which Rick has pulled his heart, soul, and a considerable amount of resources expecting a gold rush that would make headlines. However, the reality is a big different Rick's mining. Empire's destiny lies in the very ground. He treads on, but the landowner has other ideas for Rick Duncan Creek is owned by Troy Taylor cutting right to the chase. Rick receives an unexpected visit from the claim on which he is working under the lease. Rick is already under stress. Due to not hitting the previous production goal, Rick queries Taylor about the reason for his, his unexpected visit, and Taylor answers directly and candidly revealing a revelation that could have far-reaching consequences he wants to sell the Duncan. Creek property, now Rick must make a big decision about his personal life, the possibility of owning his own land lose big, and the consequences of this decision could drastically alter the course of his mining career. Consider the decision could either catapult Rick into a new era of mining success or add yet another level of complexity to his already complex venture. But that's not the interesting part on the one hand. Rick faces the challenge of meeting production goals with a ticking clock, and the security of owning the land beneath which potential fortunes lie. That's how you negotiate a deal with the gold diggers who are shocked by the unexpected offer from Ed says Taylor in a matter-of-fact manner, revealing the terms accord four of a million dollar as a down payment equal to 150 carats of gold Rick is thinking a lot the concept of buying the land he has been working on is both alluring and daunting, he is hesitant to make such a big decision as the conversation progresses. Rick admits that he is unsure if he can make such a significant move at this already difficult time. The financial commitment associated with this choice weighs heavily on his mind, spinning a web of worries. Rick struggles to accept the significance of this unexpected chance. Unquestionably, the offer of $250,000 or 150 grams of gold is significant. Troy Taylor gives Rick the parameters and then walks away to consider the seriousness of the choice. Rick is forced to grapple with the situation's potential impact on his gold mining. Journey while the gravity of the circumstance lingers ownership's ALU collides with the intimidating the possibility of financial accountability. 
paving the way for a crucial turning point in Rick's mining narrative. The future of Duncan Creek claims is at stake, so how will the mine boss this unexpected handle? turn of events, will he seize the opportunity or will the decision weigh too much in his favor? First, though he must address the other, challenges everybody knows that a malfunction in the machinery can result in lost time and more importantly lost gold, despite significant investments and state-of-the-art machinery worth millions of dollars, the results are falling short of expectations being in this situation is difficult, particularly when your goals are as lofty as Rick's the machinery and cutting technology stand as testaments to Rick's dedication, but as every seasoned miner knows the goal, beneath the earth isn't always always simply one over Rick calls his dad for help as winter approaches hoping to get the energy needed to finish the season. Strong Rick is stuck with a big problem that he can't tackle solo the question is who can he turn to for help? Rick's first thought at this crucial moment is none other than his trustworthy dad. The two of them now take on the problem, together dealing with the challenges of mining and figuring out a way forward. The first problem he deals with is the wash plant with Monster Red running on a tight crew. Rick's dad shows up and is pretty amazed by the whole mining setup. He's all in to help out however he can. It's difficult for Rick to hire more people as the mining activities expand. His father steps in to help and maintain. Order without hesitation, Rick's father decides he can help and he sets to work, completing everything required to keep Monster Red operating at Duncan Creek. Rick's 700 excavator runs into a problem when a fractured hydraulic line threatens to impede the vital operation of cleaning tailings, this is a setback that needs to be fixed right away. Rick approaches his father for assistance. There is well wearing a determined expression with tools in hand. Rick's dad, who is no stranger to hard labor, assumes the role of a makeshift mechanic and inspects the excavator, revealing the nature of the issue. A hydraulic line break it's a hands-on task, but Rick's father doesn't give up. Easily together, they try to solve the welding process like a puzzle and after several intense welding sessions and some elbow grease the hydraulic problem is resolved the 700 series die go with the excavator back in operation. The crew gets back to work making sure that every bucket of pay dirt contributes to their season ambitious gold goal, whether it's fixing up equipment or helping out in the wash plant, the team's resilience and ability to handle unforeseen setbacks is demonstrated by how well they roar back to life ready to dig into the tailings and keep the gold production on track. Rick's father becomes an invaluable member of the team, contributing a fresh enthusiasm and knowledge that ensures every aspect of the mining operation runs like a well-old machine when Monster Red chews through the pay dirt. It's not just the machines doing the heavy lifting, it's the power of a united team working towards those big gold. Bull's father and son work together to overcome obstacles and turn challenges. Into victories, they tackle the ups and downs of mining life using their combined knowledge to handle whatever comes their way, the crew is committed to finishing even in the face of obstacles including flooded cuts and equipment. Malfunctions, the 2,000-ounce go target for the season as they work together to fix problems with machinery and maintain. Equipment, Rick and his dad's friendship is clear their hands-on cooperation, emphasizes the need of having a solid support network even with his dad's. Invaluable aid Rick's father represents the spirit of a real partner in this difficult gold mining journey, proving that actions speak louder than words. Rick is entangled in weather difficulties that go beyond the urgent fixes required. The goal of the unattainable land. Ownership gold goal, the journey ahead is far from over and the suspense mounts as Rick works to turn his mining dream into a golden reality, to do so he must overcome the cold as winds chill Rick. 
must not only overcome mechanical obstacles, but also navigate the complex dynamics of the gold mining world. Each step forward requires a careful calculation, a strategic move, and a relentless determination to overcome whatever obstacles lay in its path. Creeps in feeling the weight of the impending target and the pressure to deliver Rick NES finds himself at a crossroads needing to decide how to improve gold output before the icy grip of winter puts a chill on their activities in order to increase production before the ground freezes and winter threatens his gold mining. Objectives Rick meets with his team, which includes Kyle Lawson for recent Addition to the industry with experience, in iron working in a risky move, Rick suggests a strategy that might all the events he recommends using both the dependable rocky and the gigantic red wash plants. Simultaneously, it's a tactic that if perfectly implemented may greatly increase the amount of gold they they produce despite his lack of experience. In the gold mining industry, Kyle Lawson has been given the responsibility of operating one of the wash plants by himself. Will he be able to live up to Rick's high standards and help him realize his go dream H? Well, the crew realized the seriousness of the issue as the announcement hung in the air and Kyle accepted the challenge with a mixture of trepidation and resolve. Running a wash plant by yourself may be very difficult, especially for someone who is just getting started, there are a lot of possible problems, not the least of which is the possibility that tailings would cause clogs. Duncan Creek has a determined expression on his face and is prepared for a high-stakes game. As Kyle makes his way to the wash plant, the team waits anxiously, not knowing what will happen after the initial anxiety. The rhythmic hum of the machinery reverberates throughout the Mining sight as Kyle maneuvers through the controls, jiggling the delicates of equipment and pay dirt. Kyle starts to settle into a rhythm the wash F obeys. His orders and the pay dirt starts to move easily. The possibility of tailings triggering a shutdown seems far fetched as Kyle perseveres against the odds and keeps the business operating like a well oiled machine. Another issue. Resolved, leaving just one more to go for. Rick's PA to his objective is more straightforward. The team has been digging for 10 weeks and has finally reached the good pay layer they have been striving for, but there has been a, a significant setback. Rick NES is facing another difficult test that might make or break his entire season to address. This issue, six feet of water, is spilled over the entire area in spite of challenges, such as the hefty $40,000 cost of the pump Rick chooses to bring in a sturdy tenon pump that the landowner Troy Tear kindly provides the team, sets up the pump in the hopes that it can handle the large volume of water in the cut success. With the pump, it's crucial because it's the key to dying out the area, enabling them to get the valuable pay dirt bow. Rick maintains his resolve and optimism. As the week progresses, the results surpass expectations. The gold weight from Monster Red and Rocky combined paints a picture of success the moment arrives as the pump kicks into action, proving it's worth against the water lodge conditions. With the flood area slowly drying up, the crew can finally focus on what they came for extracting the long-awaited valuable pay dirt that could turn their luck around Rick's ideas and his dad's devotion demonstrate that sometimes the bravest decisions and the presence of loved ones result in the biggest successes after the obstacles Kyle's decision to be given a significant role pays off the story takes an unexpected turn bringing triumph into the mining, soccer, and leaving the team who had previously faced uncertainty in a position of strength inspired by the accomplishment of a well-executed plan. United is about to pull off the unexpected, and now they have it a total of 35 or more than half a million dollar are outstanding with a whooping 29.80 out of giant red.
and an extra 95. From Rocky Time for Drum Roll, you heard. Correctly, people, this is a record. Breaking Goldway and Rick and the crew are clearly excited. Celebrate your success. This is their biggest gold haul. Accomplishment, yet it's an incredible accomplishment that will go down in mining history. The mining site is buzzing with newfound energy, and Rick's gamble appears to be paying off. The taste of success lingers in the crisp pond air as Rick heads to meet with none other than Troy Taylor in a moment of revelation. This success is more than just a number on the scale. It's a testament to their resilience, determination, and an unwavering spirit as a team. However, there's still one thing left to do. Rick reveals his choice, Troy. Taylor's eyes light up reflecting the excitement of closing the deal while the words hangy in the air of the group gathers to celebrate their well-deserved triumph, and Rick says that he is ready to buy, indicating that he is prepared to take the risk and make a significant investment in spite of recent setbacks. The adventure continues with each ounce of gold bringing the crew closer to their ultimate goal and every challenge, strengthening their resolve. Cheers! Resound for Rally Valley, demonstrating their resilience in the face of Adversity, the journey is far from over, and Rick Ness is unwavering in his quest for the hidden treasure beneath the Klondike soil. Thanks for watching my video.